Millions of people are drawn to Colorado, attracted by the adventure, clean living, and wide possibilities the land promises. Though the Homesteading Act of 1862 has long been discontinued, a few intrepid souls still make a go of it. It can be rough, but with modern technology, it is possible to live off the grid without sacrificing the comforts and style of a contemporary home. If you drive north of Fort Collins and turn west toward the Rocky Mountains, you'll eventually find the edge of modern civilization. The power lines end. Water is found only in streams and underground aquifers. A soft breeze blows through the meadows and the sun filters through the trembling aspens and stately pines. You can't help taking a deep breath. You want to stay here. As you turn off the backcountry road and head up through the National Forest, you'll reach a clearing where a beautiful house stands on 40 acres of a hillside that is 8,600 feet above sea level. You notice the panoramic windows reflecting the expanse of the sky and the logs and stone accents, hewn from the property, that ground the house to the land. Far from the rough logs, lashed branches, and mud of old homesteading materials, the contemporary color palette, walls of windows, and modern light fixtures boldly promise modern mountain design with livable luxury. Inside, the spacious floor plan mimics the wide open space outside. Your eyes are drawn up to the wood-covered ceiling, mirroring the Brazilian oak hardwood floor, filling the room with rustic warmth. There is plenty of room for guests, including two guest rooms and a bathroom upstairs, as well as a cozy loft that overlooks the great room. The master suite is on the main floor and features a gorgeous bathroom. Just outside, on the expansive deck, the view can be enjoyed from the comfortable furniture as well as the covered hot tub. There is also an outdoor shower, a great perk of not having neighbors. As you take in more of the house, you begin to notice the meticulous attention to detail and clever ways modern amenities have been tied together with natural, rustic beauty. In the kitchen, the appliances are stainless steel. The cabinets are crafted from wood, and the countertops are cut from sandstone that was mined nearby. The cats even have a space designed just for them under the stairs, effectively hiding the litter box. With the many modern amenities that make this house so much more than a homestead cabin, it's hard to remember that it is completely off the grid. Where does the power and water come from? Surely with so many windows and all the open space, it is nearly impossible to keep the house warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Indeed, how these age-old problems are solved is what truly sets this beautiful house apart. The bulk of the house faces south, as you would expect, and extra long eaves shade the walls from the high sun in the summer. But when the sun is traveling lower in the winter, its warmth and light come straight through the windows. The glass-surrounded sunroom adjacent to the kitchen is not only a cozy place to relax, but it is designed to collect passive solar heat in the colder months. The room's French doors are left open to the house during the day so that heat collected by the tiled floor can flow through the house and are then closed after sunset to maintain the heat and prevent heat loss. Additional warmth is provided by solar in-floor heating and then supplemented by the high-efficiency fireplaces throughout the house. None of this heat is wasted because the house is airtight thanks to the structurally insulated panels or SIPS panels that were used to build it. SIPS panels are essentially 6 to 12 inches of insulation sandwiched between two layers of OSB. These panels are prefabricated in a factory and pieced together on site by tongue and groove. They are more than solid enough to form the structure of the house and connect so tightly that virtually no airflow enters or exits the house, keeping warm air in and the coldness of winter out. Modern living requires energy, even off the grid, and this comes from four solar modules strategically located on the property, as well as from a wind-powered turbine. The electricity generated by these devices makes its way through the buried cables until it arrives at the brain of the house, located in the basement. Here, a large bank of industrial batteries store enough energy to power the house without sunshine for several days. If the sun doesn't come out by then, a large generator turns on automatically. In addition to the solar panels, there are also 12 solar hot water panels installed on the south and west sides of the roof that heat a 500-gallon water reservoir using a 50% glycol closed-loop system. This system heats both the domestic water as well as the in-floor radiant heating. 
The Radeon heating system is separated into three independently controlled zones, monitored by a computer that also controls the master temperature of the reservoir. When the temperature gets too hot and the pressure in the system gets too high, it releases hot water to the hot tub revealing, true to Stainsburg form, that it too has a dual purpose. With all of the lights and appliances, the house has the potential to be an energy hog. Many modern appliances, like stoves and garage door openers, continue to draw power even when they're turned off or not in use, commonly referred to as phantom load. To prevent this energy waste, switches have been installed for anything that uses passive electricity, the stove, the hot tub, even the coffee maker. And there is no freezer-refrigerator combo in the kitchen because of its inefficient use of energy. Surprisingly, combo units are cooled by the freezer and then a heater is used to warm the air back up in the refrigerator. All these systems, solar, wind, water, and heat, are managed by computers that learn from and talk to each other so that over time, they've settled into the most efficient cooperative process based on the homeowner's rhythm of life. The house is a modern technological miracle, and yet it remains a homestead at heart. A home designed to use and nurture the land for peaceful backcountry living. In this spirit, the property has a fully functional barn just down the hillside from the house. If there is one thing that Stainsburg proves, it is that living off the grid does not have to be rustic and uncomfortable. It doesn't have to mean cooking over a fire and living in a drafty cabin or earth ship. It is possible to live with all the comforts modern civilization and technology has to offer in an environmentally harmonious way. May we all be so inspired. <laughs>